Welcome back to another Random Bits. Um, I've had a couple of requests uh, to show you how to put in a high score on the title page. Uh, so I will quickly show you how to do that. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, switch to our other scene, um, being the game scene. Um, and in the game scene, we're going to look in our canvas. We're going to find our text score and our label, which is the score currently in the game. And we're going to select both using the shift key, right click and copy those. Uh, then we're going to open up the title scene again and select the canvas, right click and paste. Um, and if it's outside the canvas, you can just drag it back into the canvas. All right, so we have our high score at the top there, uh, but that's kind of crowding out our title. So what we're gonna do is we'll move it down uh, to position it at the bottom here. So with the title score selected, um, we're gonna click on the anchor text or the anchor uh, box, click on there, and we're going to uh, using the Alt key to also set position, uh, we're gonna click on this bottom one at the bottom here. So that will jump it down to the bottom. Um, if we have a look at that on the screen, when we run the game, um, see that it's kind of a, a bit too large there. If we toggle it across over there, it's a bit large. Uh, so what we can do is, first thing we'll do is we'll uh, click on the text score and set the font size down to something maybe like 30 um, and also set our label to something like 30 and we're also going to change the text for our label we'll change that to best score and um, if we switch back to the scene so we can see what we're doing here uh, we can shrink down these boxes a bit. Uh, let's put that back to the top, shrink this one down because it's the parent. Or maybe shrink that up. Oh. Shrink it down. Let's double check what's going on here. Let's shrink this one down. There we are by selecting text score. And then we'll select the label and match it to the same height. We have a look there. Uh, we can probably go a bit lower. Oh, select text score again. Move that down a bit. Um, select best score. And align that. Cool. So if we select the text score as well, we can just pull it across slightly. Um, we can probably go a bit more. Grab this one and drag it slightly across. And I think that looks okay. Let's have a look what it looks like with the animation plane. I think we could probably go down a smidgen more. So if we just shrink this down a little bit more, put it down a bit more, there we are. And this one's no longer aligned. So align it and align its bottom. Awesome. And that's more or less looking centered. And if we just try a couple of different resolutions, we'll just see that it remains more or less in where we want it. Okay. Uh, so now that we have it, the labels uh, and the score label and the label and the score set up where we want it, uh, let us rename the field to text best score all right right now what we need to do is um, actually uh, put in a value other than 999.9 over there so what we're going to do is on our um, title page we on our canvas we have 
the menu controller, which has currently got all the logic to control um, the toggling on and off of the mute button. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, add some more logic on, onto here uh, to display the correct best score. Uh, so let us double click there and open up um, the menu controller. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is get a reference to the um, best score field. And you notice that um, it doesn't understand uh, the text object. And that is because we need to first um, import the uh, Unity Engine dot UI packages and classes. So we use that there and then we can do text and we're going to call this txt best score and save that. And because it's a public field, when we now switch back to Unity, we will see once it compiles, it will update uh, and expose a property for us to set. And what we can do is we can grab the uh, best text field um, and we can grab click on it and drag it into there so that we now have a reference to that field in our script. Uh, so switching back to our script, what we now need to do is actually uh, set the value, the text value of that of that field to our actual um, best score. And a lot like we did, if you scroll down to the bottom here, a lot like we used uh, the player preferences to get uh, the state of the muted button and to set the state of the muted button. What we're going to do here is we're going to use the player preferences to get uh, to store and to retrieve from our, our best score. So in our start uh, uh, method for our menu controller, which will run when when the um, level starts, uh, we or the scene loads, we will uh, need to do the following. What we're going to do is we're going to take the text uh, best score field and we're going to set its text value and we're going to set it to player prefs dot get and in this case instead of get float um, I mean get int like we used with uh, the uh, toggle for the mute button we're going to use get float which is a floating number because if you recall from our score in the game it's um, a number of seconds including one fraction of a second or one decimal place. Uh, so we want to store that as a floating value. So we're going to do get float. Uh, we're going to call it best score. And um, we're going to use the option of get player pref that includes a default value because if we haven't played the game yet, we won't actually have a best score. So we will just set that to zero. Now Unity is complaining or, or that because this is ex supposed to get a string and this is supposed to get a float. Uh, so what we need to do is convert this floating number into a string. So we can use the to string function and we're going to give it a 0, 0 0.0 as the uh, string uh, format function so that it will format as a number followed by a one decimal place. All right. So if we save that now and switch back to our um, game scene and we're on the the main title scene if we run that now we will see um a value there now that that uh, 23.7 value there is um is set because i have already run this tutorial before and it has saved uh, my previous high score in my player preferences uh, so when you run it for the very first time you'll see zero there not 23.7 all right so now that we have um, it using uh, a player preference to uh, retrieve the best score value, what we now need to do is actually uh, set the best score value. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to first save the scene um, and we're going to end our, um, open up our other scene. So where is our other scene? We're going to open up the game scene. Now in our game scene, um, the bunny is our main object and on our bunny object, we have the bunny controller is our main script that is dealing with um, all the jumping and the running and detecting of the um, bunny hitting um, objects. And it is also the thing that is used to um, update our score text. 
so uh, it's the ideal place to track when we die if we've beaten our um, high score so what we're going to do is we'll open that script and uh, if you have a look at the script currently in our on collision into 2d uh, we detect if we've hit an enemy namely the cactus and what we do and do is all the logic that then pretty much um, uh, handles the enabling of the death scene of the bunny and and ends the the game so what we want to do is just after playing the death sound effect um, what we want to do is figure out if uh, the uh, player has beaten the current best score uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called of type float and we're going to call it current best score and we are going to set it to player prefs dot get float um, best score and uh, once again we're going to default it to zero in case we don't have a best score saved in the player preferences uh, and so the main thing to make sure is that the name you use here is the same name that you use over there so use the word best score everywhere or high score or whatever you want to call this field right uh, so now that we know what the current uh, best score is um, which could be zero if we haven't had a value before what we need to do is calculate what the current score is so we're going to say float current score is equal to um, so currently if we scroll up here in our um, update loop we have a section at the bottom here where um, we update the score text so that's how we're showing the score and our calculation for that is time dot time which is the the current time um, of the game the game's internal clock uh, minus the start time and if you remember from the previous tutorials the start time is something we set when the um, when the the script first start up starts up so it's basically the time or the game clock's time when the player starts playing the level uh, so we want to replicate um, that calculation so if we just grab that calculation there and we're going to say that the current score is equal to time dot time minus uh, start time and in this case we probably don't need the brackets all right so we now currently have uh, what the score that the players just scored and the previous best score that the player had scored and now we need to say uh, check if they've beaten the previous um, score so what we're going to do is put an if statement there we're going to say if the current score is greater than the current best score then what we want to do is we want to uh, save the new uh, the current score as the new best score so what we're going to do is going to player pref start set float and uh, because it's a floating point value and we're going to call it best score and the value we're going to set it to is current score all right so just to run through that again what we've calculated is uh, the first thing we do is we grab the current best score uh, the next thing we do is calculate the score that the player has just achieved uh, we then see if their current score is better than the current best score and if it is we save the current score as the new best score as a player preference so if we switch out uh, back to unity and we run the game and we ought to jump 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 i've just got to beat my 24 seconds that was my previous score there uh oh right so if i escape back out there you see the best score currently is still 23.7 so let's see if I can do that again. Uh oh. <laughs> right, one more time. Oh. 
Oh, so close. All right. Well, um, <laughs> since I'm only able to beat my score, you're just going to have to believe me that that actually uh, does work. Um, hopefully that's been useful. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Um, and as always, if you've liked this video, please uh, like it, uh, hit the like button, and of course, share it with anybody else. Thanks very much for watching.